the third one is nano filtration. Okay. Is nano filtration with the sea uh, water are open and uh, uh, ultra high pressure uh, reverse osmosis system with a turbo charger will be presented by uh, Mr. Roman. Uh, Mr. Roman uh, uh, is already uh, working, is working already in, in industrial process as the IT in uh, Almera University. And then now it is working with the hydronautics. Okay, so um, we will um, give us, uh, uh, this is a presentation about the new technology for using uh, this is a uh, turbo charger and what's the new of the turbo charger. You can go ahead. Shukran. Yes. Uh, so, apologize because I meant to do the presentation in, in English. Unfortunately, I don't speak Arabic. So, yeah, this presentation is related to the prime mining application that you have here before in several presentations. So, we have done a pilot unit in Saudi Arabia. We are treating, pre-treating uh, seawater. The customer is uh, SWCC and the DTRI. And the parties involved are both of them, plus hydronautics, plus FEDCO. And the application is potable water, plus uh, brine mining. So when we want to extract minerals from the brine, the important point is to get as much recovery as possible from membranes to leave the less part to the evaporator. So uh, when targeting the process for membrane, we are trying to push the pressures up to the maximum. So we have done a pilot unit. The, the main concept is to, to have initially a low pressure MF system to separate the divalence with the monovalence. So we end up with a magnesium rich brine that can be uh, used for extracting magnesium or for adding magnesium in the uh, post treatment of the potable water for health uh, benefits of the magnesium in the potable water. And then the permeate from the MF system will go to the two stage uh, RO system with uh, standard seawater membranes and ultra high pressure special membranes. And then uh, there are plans to do a brine concentration with membranes that is not part of this pilot unit, but uh, the, the concept is there and will be piloted soon. So for this uh, presentation, we only target on the uh, two previous steps, so we are not going to the brine concentration membranes. And the target of the brine concentration membrane will, go, will be to go to the 220, 250 grams per liter concentration in the brine, while with membranes, we are able to achieve close to 100 uh, grams per liter concentration. So these are some uh, photos of the pilot unit. So you can see it's a container system. And here on the right, you, you see the, the membrane system. So this is the MF uh, PMID. You can see we have two stages of MF, basically. I'm going to jump this because we have a limit time. Then for the arrow, we have, a, again, a two-stage system with two turbochargers. So we, we are using the bi-turbo uh, turbocharger system. Uh, the turbocharger that we are using is a FEDCO turbocharger. So you know how it works. It's mainly um, a turbo that is directly coupled with a pump, so no motor inside. Um, we have collaborated with FEDCO to integrate the calculation of the FEDCO turbos into the IMS design software. So by selecting the turbo mode in the software, you have possibility of choosing the uh, stage uh, two turbo boost and the stage one exhaust pressure. And based on these uh, values, you will end up with a projection uh, where you have the high pressure uh, pump pressure calculation and the feed pressure provided by the booster uh, by the feed turbo and then on the right side on, on the other box we have the uh, stage wise pressure calculation for the boost provided in both stages so when it comes to the membrane that we have been using this in this pilot unit we have the ProX SX this is a, a basically it's a sulfate removal membrane that we have improved to, to provide higher uh, hardness rejection 
So basically, it can operate at the same pressure at the seawater elements, but it's a nanofiltration membrane. Then uh, we did the comparison in the family of the nanofiltration membrane. So we have compared against our ProX S3 and ProX S1. So you can see the sulfate removal is more or less the same for the three elements. But when we have a look to the uh, hardness rejection, the ProX S is providing higher rejection than the other members of the family. For chlorides, we are rejecting a bit more of the chloride. And the important will be to to reco uh, recover as low as possible because we want the chloride to pass to the permeate to be concentration co concentrated in the arrow. Uh, the seawater membrane that we have been using is already uh, well known in the market is the SWC5LD. It's a compromise between high rejection and high flow. So it uh, has a salt rejection of 99.8, permeate flow of 9000 GPD and it operates as a standard seawater uh, pressure of 1200 psi. But then for the uh, high, ultra high pressure membrane, we have been using the Pro XP1. This is again a 99.8% uh, uh, salt rejection. The permeate flow is a bit lower, and the, we are able to operate at 18, 8, 1800 psi for feed pressure for this membrane, so we can achieve higher concentration. So this is the general view of the pilot unit. We have the two-stage NF with six elements, uh, six vessels and three vessels in the, in the two stages of the NF. We have six elements per, per vessel. This is where the ProX SX are installed. And then we have the two-stage uh, arrow system. We have uh, the first stage with eight uh, vessels, six elements. The second stage with the ultra-high pressure membranes is two vessels with six elements. And we have the two FEDCO uh, uh, turbos. So actually, the, the brine uh, should be delivered to the brine concentration, but it's this pilot unit, the, the brine is discharged. So this is uh, initial data of the NF system. So you can see we are running at about 20 bar uh, of feed pressure. The recovery is 80%. And we, when we have a look to the rejection of the different uh, ions, we have 99.6 uh, for magnesium, we have 33.6 uh, for chlorides, and 99.98 for sulfate. Uh, the sulfate rejection is very high for this membrane. One minute. If we go for the arrow, we have, um, we, we feed the system with 60 bar on the high pressure pump, then the feed turbo is providing 5 bar more or less, we enter the system with 64 bar, then the interstage turbo is providing 35 additional bar, so we are feeding the ultra high pressure with 99 bar. And the, the ejection on magnesium and chloride is 99.9 uh, and 98.9. This is data after one month, mainly uh, is exactly the same as the initial data. We have the trends for the NF system, it is stable. We have the data after one month for the uh, arrow system. And we have the trends. We can see when we have an increase of the pressure, uh, both stages uh, increase at the same time. So the interstage turbo automatically adjusts the, the desired flux balance. The primitive flow normalized data is pretty stable. Of course, uh, we are treating NF permeate, so the fouling potential is not very high on the arrow. Again, for the normalized differential pressure, is pretty stable. The salt passage, we have an increase of, of the rejection of the membrane over the initial days, and we have similar salt passage uh, between other stages of the arrow system. And Afebrapa, uh, as uh, summary, uh, we have the energy consumption on the NF is 0 0.86 kilowatts hour per cubic meter. On the ultra high pressure arrow, we have 3.3 kilowatts hour per uh, cubic meter. And this is the actual uh, analysis of the brine. So we are achieving the 100 grams per liter. If we will further concentrate with brine concentration, that will be the concentration that we will have uh, different ions. And um, on the right side is the dry salt purity. So conclusion, the two-stage NF system ahead of the arrow enables production of magnesium-rich brine and reduce the scaling for downstream seawater arrow. We can achieve more or less 70% recovery 
in seawater from the Gulf, uh, and this can be achieved using already commercially available equipment like the FEPCO turbochargers and aeronautics membranes, and pushing the membrane technology to brine concentration of 100 uh, grams per liter can reduce the evaporator size uh, and the cost of the brine uh, production. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, see that? Does this have a Okay, this is my question. I see, I see now this improvement of this is a type of the membrane, and we have a rejection salt for, for the calcium, and the magnesium is perfect. So that means it will be used for the prime water. Yeah, it can be used for the prime water, for the treatment of the prime water, to remove this is a calcium and for, Okay, and this is what related what? What is the improvement which is happened already for the material or? Uh, yeah, but basically, uh, the friends from Saudi water uh, uh, conversion company, they, they want to uh, have a purity sodium chloride that they have selling, that they are selling for the uh, chloralkali industry. So, so, chloral yeah. industry. so they, they want to split the, the divalence from, from the uh, uh, sodium chloride solution. Okay. For the turbocharger, we see that, or normally when we are working on the turbocharger, we facing uh, some problem with this is a sarast bearing. It's it's graphite. Sarast bearing, sarast bearing in graphite. Yeah, bearing in graphite. Inside this is a turbocharger. It is from time to time it's broken. Are you are, are you working on this is to to improve the material? Uh, okay, I I first of, I work for for aeronautics, not for FEPCO, okay. so, <laughs> so I, I they have to answer this. But uh, in the pilot unit that we have been running, no no issue. No problem. With, uh, also, uh, I see this is a saving power now. Sorry, uh, Mr. Ibrahim. If you compare it with this is a BX, which is which is less consumption of the power. Uh, for, uh, it's a, you, you are giving this difficult question. <laughs> I have friends there and I have friends there. Yes, so, the is yeah, here. Okay. Maybe, maybe for the two-stage system with ultra-high pressure, I think the FEDCO fits very, very well, while uh, probably BX is having higher recovery, but in this case, is not the best option. Okay. Thank you for this is a story, and this is a case, and we hope to meet you again. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you.